Hi everyone, welcome to another installment of my Tone Talk vlog series for Machakas Music. This is where I share tips and tricks from a studio musician and a private music instructor on getting great guitar tone at home, on stage, or in the studio. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. You can also follow my blog series at machakasmusic.com slash blog. Today I'm going to show you guys how I build the pedal boards out. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about this from students. I've done a few of these boards for friends and a couple other students. And uh, I have a very particular way I like to do things, so I'm going to go over that. We're going to include, uh, if you have an already existing board, how do you strip it to start from scratch? So we're going to be removing Velcro, removing the goo from the Velcro, and then we're going to be you know, getting these up and running. So I'm going to go take you guys through my process. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's get with it. So I got my pedal board here. I'm going to start taking off some of this Velcro. Um, a really good way to do it is if you take a blow dryer and turn it on the hottest setting and you start to pull away at the Velcro, it'll actually melt the adhesive. It will speed up the process when you're taking your Velcro off. I'm going to get all this old Velcro off from a previous build and um, start from scratch. So I'm going to start by taking off all this Velcro and then I'm going to Gooby Gone and no label on it, but that's what this is, is Gooby Gone. And uh, I'm going to use that to take the rest of the old adhesives off so I can make a fresh seal when I put my new Velcro on for my board. Um, okay, let's get started. So as you can see, I'm going to use a pair of hemostats. And I'm going to turn on my blow dryer. So once you heat off the adhesive, you know, it comes off pretty quick. Um, I'm going a little slow with hemostats just because I don't want to, to mess up the, the finish on my board here. So I'm going to speed through the rest of these, show you guys when I get to my next step. Alright guys, as you can see I've gotten all the Velcro off the pedal board. Um, my next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some gooby gone and then to take off the rest of this adhesive and then I'm gonna rub it down with some alcohol just to take the remains of the gooby on off the board because it can destroy um, whatever finish you have so in my case this is a, a piece of wood that I have stained here so I don't want this to get messed up so I'm gonna take off the rest of the gooby gone and uh, get it going First I'm going to get a paper towel and I'm going to add a little bit of this Gooby Gone to it. It's a pretty greasy product so you want to uh, work as fast as you can and then get it off your surface that you put it on as fast as you can. So I'm going to start Gooby Goning. All right, guys, we got our Velcro cleaned off. We're starting to do a layout. Um, first thing you want to do if you're using existing cables is make sure with your new layout everything fits still. So I'm going to start cabling just to make sure I have the right spacing on where I want my effects. Um, then I'm going to draw it out with a pencil and start Velcroing everything to make sure it's in place. Um, you always want to make sure your cables fit, otherwise if you Velcro, you have to do the whole thing over. So, let's start doing that. We're going to start checking to make sure I'm going right here from my effects loop into a wah-wah. So, I'm going to go... 
extend out from here to my wa. Okay, so that's about where I can be on that length. Okay, we got that going. I'm gonna go out of the wa to a wa to Qtron. Chose to use a Qtron with this because I got kind of into the whole. I'm not a big Grateful Dead guy, but I like the. I thought kind of going for a Bootsy Collins slash, you know, playing lead lines kind of Jerry Garcia ish. Just because it's fun, you get different textures by using the Qtron without a wah. Things that would be hard to wah with your foot in time, I feel like. Um, cool. So now I'm going to check going from the Qtron to my Univibe, which is I'm using the Vibro from Austin, Texas. Uh, the new Shinai Vibro. I think this is the best Univibe on the market, unless you want to shell out like three grand or two grand or whatever it is for a real one. This one does everything and I think is a little more pedal board friendly. Um, you know, you can you can choose to use the preamp you uh, like you could an original Univibe, but you can also go true bypass if that's your shtick. So I'm gonna go from there. And then from the Univibe, I'm gonna go to a this MKT 275 fuzz face. Um, I'm trying this out because normally I would go with a fuzz I'd go fuzz into Univibe. But with this fuzz face, I figured out this one works really well with this before it. So I'm gonna do that. I like the results of it, I'm gonna do that. Uh, then I'm gonna go and do my Octavia, which is a prescription electronics cob pedal. Gonna do a Klon, King of Tone, Thermal Electronics Sex Drive, into the Strymon Lex for a little rotary action, and into the Nemesis Delay pedal. By source audio so I'm gonna cable all this up make sure it all fits and uh, if I like my layout then I'm gonna draw it out and velcro it down see you guys in a second all right guys I'm gonna start drawing in where I want my effects this helps me know where to velcro when I'm putting stuff down um, I do this after I test to make sure my cable runs work that way I know everything fits, so when I velcro it down, I don't have to second guess myself. So I'm just using a mechanical pencil here, and just gonna draw an outline around the pedal. And when you take it off, you have pretty much a nice indentation of where your pedal goes. So that way there's no guessing, you know? I'm gonna do this one a little more. There it is, there's where my fuzz face goes. So you just repeat this process for all your pedals, kind of get them where you want them, and do that. I'll see you guys in a second after I've done that. We'll start Velcroing everything down. So as you can see guys, I have marked off where all my pedals are gonna live on this board. And uh, so now I'm gonna start Velcroing. Um, what you wanna do when you get to this step is start taking off feet on your pedals, you know, like uh, my old fuzz face still has got feet on it. So 
I gotta take the feet off so it'll mount flush to the board when it's velcroed. Do that on all your pedals and uh, then start velcroing. Um, I'm weird, I like the fuzzy part on the back of my pedal. Fuzzy here. Um, rough Velcro here. Uh, that's how I've always done it. So, some people do differently, that's what I do. Well guys, I got my cabling runs all going here. As you can see, everything fits. Um, right now, I'm just using this to make sure my cabling runs work. Um, when I plug it in, it'll look a lot cleaner. I'm going to do a lot of tricks to hide the wires I'm going to show you guys. Um, but it all works. So this is the layout I like. I'm, I'm going into the BMP. It's basically an effects loop that I can send my guitar in and my entire board runs on an effects loop. It's also a preamp. So it helps balance my signal flow for when I switch guitars. So when I'm playing a Stratocaster and I can switch to a Les Paul, I don't have to change my, or a A335 or a Junior or whatever I'm using, I don't have to change my effects levels on the board. They can say the same and I can just adjust my level at the BMP. Um, it also has a tuning out and a kill switch. Um, and so that's what I'm using from Derm Electronics in Austin, Texas, great unit. I'm going out of that into a t Swawa, into a Qtron, into a Vibro from Austin, the best Univibe there is, into an NKT-275 fuzz face, this is an old one, uh, into a Cobb from Prescription Electronics, into a Klon, Bill Finnegan made me that one, Bill I love you, if you're watching, you're awesome, thank you for the great customer service, um, there's the King of Tone by Analog Man. Analog Mike made me that several years ago. Um, uh, the Sex Drive by Durham Electronics. Best clean boost on the market. Adds a little bit of compression. I love it a lot. Has never left my board since I bought it 10 years ago. Going into the Strymon, then into the Nemesis. So, got all that going. Uh, the other question I get all the time is what cables are you using? Uh, there it is, folks. Sabre Cable. Fine audio cable from Austin, Texas, made by the legendary one and only Matt Tapp. These can be made custom order to your pedal board. Measure everything out in advance. Give Matt a call. He'll make you whatever you want. I had some made with uh, Switchcraft connectors. The rest of my plugs are going to be Nitrix. That's just what I had lying around. Alright guys, I'm at the stage now where I'm cable tying and putting down some adhe cool adhesive quick clips for cabling. It's kind of just kind of going to keep everything nice and neat here. Having a clean board is important. It helps you not step on any of your cabling while you're playing. Um, and keeps everything nice and keeps everything nice and clean. You know, that way nothing comes undone. I like these little plastic clips. They're adhesive. They're really nice. They'll kind of hold, if you want to hold power supply cables or or you want to hold uh, power supply cables and, and you want to hold your cabling for the long one so they just don't pop up and get in your way. That's what I like to use. So if you see right in here, that cable's nice and flat to the board now. All right guys, I finished all my cabling. I got it pretty darn clean. I'll zoom in here.
I, I really like these um, cable holders. They have adhesive on the bottom, so if you ever want to swap them out or they break or whatever, they, you can get another one and pop right back on. It's great. Um, one other trick I did is I used a label maker and label made every one of my power supplies so I know where everything plugs in. If I have a problem, I can diagnose that one power cable and have it swapped easily. Um, I zip tied all the power lines and then I used the cable holders to hold cables to the power lines for the long runs just to kind of keep it so you don't trip over it when they move and stuff. I think this one, um, a little bit um, too long, but I'll change that later. Or, or I'll use more cable tie to get it cleaner. But in terms of a run, I really, really think I did a good job. Switch to bigger light. Ooh. Fancy. All right, time for the ultimate test, guys. Let's do a sound test. Hey, everybody. I'm finally testing my board here. I'm in my teaching room at Machakas Music. Um, everything's wired up and live. I got my tuner using the Quartz Pick Black tuner. Got a Durham Electronics BMP. Stands for buffer, master volume, and a preamp. So what this does is it's it's kind of my secret weapon right here. It um, has a kill switch so I can kill it and go into tuning. Also has a good preamp so it compensates for all the signal loss I could have because it's a pretty big board with cables. Um, and it allows me to set the levels so if I get my levels and my effects the way I like them, if I switch guitars it's exactly the same. I can switch to a Les Paul, I can switch to whatever, and I get pretty much, you know, I'm not, there's no noticeable volume drop which is really cool. Um, Alan Durham makes those out of Austin. You can call him to get one. I really like it. Never stopped using mine since the day I bought it. Uh, going into a T-Swa. Oh, and it, it runs on an effects loop too. So it's an effects loop for the entire board. So you can just kill the entire board with the red switch over there. Blue turns the preamp on. If I turn the preamp off, the entire loop is off and I can just play dry guitar. So that's how that works. Going into a T-Swa Wa, picture Wa, into a Qtron. Uh, for my Grateful Dead-isms and my Bootsy Collins-isms. Going into, then going into this uh, Vibro. The Vibro is the, I think, the most killer Univibe clone on the market. Just nails it. Uh, then going into my Fuzz Face. It's a white dot NKT275 Fuzz Face. Into Prescription Cobb. Into a Klon KTR. Into a King of Tone. Into a Sex Drive. You know, why do I have three drive pedals? Uh, Klein, I like with Telecasters, so I use that for a specific thing. I like it distorted or, or getting some crunch, so I use that with my Tele. That I'll use the Strats or other guitars. This side, I kind of, it, the, the yellow side is kind of 808-ish. Not quite as pronounced mids, really, but I use it like I would use an 808 for that kind of a boost. And then that's just all out when used together, it's just all that awesomeness. It's my sex drive made by Durham Electronics in Austin, Texas. Uh, really great pedal. It's a it's a strictly a clean boost, but um, it doesn't change a ton of your amplifier and you don't lose low end. Also has a compressor in it that you can adjust and change. It reminds me more of an LA-2A style compressor than a Nashville compressor. Really awesome. Then going into a Strymon Lex and into a Nemesis Delay pedal. So let's check out some tones, guys. Hey everybody, so I'm here at, uh, inside my teaching studio at Machakas Music. I am running through my pedal board. I'm playing through a purple Sir Stratocaster, running through my board I just showed for you guys, and I'm running through a uh, brown Vibroverb with two tens. Pretty good guys. So here's my, just my, before I turn any effects, here's what I'm sounding like. <laughs> kind of going through some stuff here with my walk.
with my fuzz face. Pretty good. That was kind of like my Jimi Hendrix thing. It was kind of like fuzz space, Octavia. Uh, I was using my Derm Electronics X drive to push it a little bit more. So uh, sounding good. Uh, here's the vibe, bro, which sounds amazing. <laughs> So like David Gilmore, Hendrixy kind of thing. Um, again, using the sex drive to kind of push it. Uh, here's my Leslie, which I've never used a Leslie before in a pedal board. So I'm having a lot of fun just experimenting with the Leslie. <laughs>
So that's kind of my board guys. Uh, I'm going to keep kind of messing around with some different tones and want to get you an idea of, you know, having a few things you like can really expand your tonal world. So as always, check out machakasmusic.com for more blog ideas. Um, I'm doing blogs every week now. Uh, going to be doing more of these YouTube videos. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks for watching guys. Later!